The clock is now ticking on whether labor strife will ground the majority of WestJet and Swoop planes this weekend and leave passengers in limbo. A little worried about how I'm going to get back uh, with the looming strike coming up on Friday. I hope we're not going to be big disruptions. After nine months of negotiations, there's still no deal between Canada's second largest airline and its pilots. The union issued a strike notice and the company is threatening a lockout. I've always used WestJet. Um, they're my favorite. They've always been the easiest. All bets are off on Kim Lattenville's long weekend trip to Vegas. She's heartbroken knowing it's in jeopardy. This has been months in the works for planning and it's all up in the air at the last moment. In the lead up to the deadline, WestJet says it's waiving the cost for changes or cancellations for those flying May 15th to the 21st. But the difference in fares would apply. Passengers, though, could be entitled to more according to the Passenger Bill of Rights. When an airline cannot provide a flight within 48 hours of the original departure time, the carrier must, at the passenger's choice, provide a refund or make alternative travel arrangements for passengers free of charge. Their priority will be, you know, seven days beyond the projected strike dates. Uh, expect a message from WestJet with an offer either of a new flight uh, on another carrier or offer of a refund. The union is seeking better job security, flexible schedules and improved pay. We're just trying to get a compensation package that will keep our pilots at WestJet. So right now we're losing pilots to all the other airlines in Canada as well as down into the States. WestJet says it has offered a fair deal and regrets the inconvenience and uncertainty for passengers. Negotiations continue, but if a deal isn't reached by Friday, most passengers and planes will be grounded. Kyle Bax, CBC News, Calgary.